Welcome to the Oracle of the Feather Crown Tree. This is our collective reading for the week for the heart chakra. These readings are intended to bring us um, the highest spiritual insight that we could need to help this chakra function at its best and so that we may be at our best in the world. This is just a three card spread. I'll explain the card positions as I read through them. I will start with the messages from each book that the author wrote, and then I will finish the reading with an intuitive interpretation of the cards. Our question for this chakra is, how can I cultivate joy, gratitude, love, and compassion for others so that I am cosmic love? And our first card in the center is You Who Show the Way from the Rumi Oracle. Even in your unquenchable passion for service to humanity, to the world that offers you so much, there is a time when your most powerful offering is actually and most simply that of your presence. You show the way, you who inspire through how you choose to live and be, you who sometimes think yourself to be invisible, you who consider yourself to be of no particular or exceptional worth. Yes, you, you who through your choices to live in your truth, Reveal my face, demonstrate my love, embody my presence, heal my beloveds, and love my creations. This oracle brings the message that if you have a situation in your midst that feels impossible to resolve, the divine has it covered. Do the sacred honoring a ritual that you can create and let it be sorted out by a power greater than your own. It shall be sorted out and your sun shall rise just as day follows night again and again. So too shall your sun rise after any issue or struggle. Have faith and hope and know that this is a sensible approach to any dilemma no matter how serious it may seem. For what use it is to bemoan any absence of day, even in the longest night, when you know in every moment dawn is ever closer to breaking once again. Your hope, then, is not foolish, but wise. Now bringing in some extra insight for that card, we're going to take a card from the Kuan Yin Oracle, and this is representing the voice of the Dolphin Matrix Chakra. The card we have this week is Sisters of the Sun Rising. It is an important part of the spiritual journey to learn who you are and how you work, and often Solitary work is a helpful way to do this. Yet there are times when you are strong enough to work with others without losing yourself or your unique approach to creative endeavors. Collaboration is suggested for you now to allow you to expand your horizons, to meet more people, share your light, and have more fun. Your collaborations may be with spiritual guides, or with souls incarnated and coming into your life in the form of colleagues, friends, and helpers now. Trust your instincts and be discerning in what you accept and what you let pass you by. There will be plenty of opportunities for you as you are open to them, but do trust yourself enough to take a leap and some risks that feel uplifting for you in reaching out or accepting the offers of others to work together. 
This oracle indicates that in any relationship you have right now, there is healing taking place. And if you look for the win-win solution, no matter how tricky it might seem to find that wisdom at first, it is there to be found. You will have successfully collaborated a soul's finding healing. Well done. And then from our spirit chakra, we are going to take a card from the spirit messages deck to also help our heart chakra. And we have nature. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer. So take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. This card often comes up when your chi or life force is running low. This is a timely reminder that nature is beckoning you to step outdoors and let your body absorb the healing properties that it has to offer. Spending too much time indoors disconnects you from your natural state and can often make you feel drained or lethargic. Nature welcomes you by offering the warmth of the sun, the healing and grounding properties of the earth. Breathe in the wonder of nature's colors that can be found in its forest, meadows, flowers, mountains, and sky. Let them feel your spirit and allow them to surround and infuse and energize your aura. Spend quiet time in the solace of your own company by the ocean, river, or streams. Listen to its natural rhythmic music as it soothes your soul. Don't forget, you are an energetic being, and that special part of you also needs nourishment. Okay, so I'm going to take a look intuitively here at what these cards are presenting. I am seeing a total illumination to something higher than yourself, even as you stand in very uncertain waters, waters that may seem dangerous and very unsettling. Um, there's a complexity to it somewhat, very just very choppy, almost harsh emotional energy. This may be your own emotional energy that you are kind of trying to push down and stand above, you know, rise above. And it looks like you are doing this with some success this week as long as you are connecting to a sense of something greater than you and that you are part of something greater than just your earthly existence. I see that there is a love coming through that is beautiful from a multitude of people, of companions in your life. They may be within your own friend group and they may not be in close contact to you at present, but they are there and available should you want to engage. They may be kind of involved in their own similar life dramas this week. There may be a shared collective drama that we're all going through. And even though there may be an, an internal struggle within, there is still beauty to be found without, to be expressed, and to be lived, and to let flow into our lives. There does not have to be the harshness that may seem that is, you know, actually in existence right now. We can manifest beauty. And I'm also seeing that perhaps worries that you are confronting this week um, can help 
can be helped by the our reabsorption into our natural world, which offers a type of love energy. It's not of the emotional kind from human to human so much, but there's a love from the Mother Earth that is like the mother's love that can be very restorative, very healing, and can help break down some of the mental anguish and worry that we can be experiencing as we allow this energy, if we engage with it, to just sort of grow and take root and and encompass our entire being if we lose ourselves into it. And we will also be supported through the divine energies as well, as far as insight and higher energies in the more heavenly realms. They're always there for us to realize and engage with. And this, uh, this energy from nature will help alleviate any constraints that you feel as well. It will provide a little freedom for your soul this week. All right. Thanks so much for joining me for this reading. I'm wishing you all well, many blessings to you, and please join me if you'd like for any of my other readings I have on offer. Much love.